Sometimes a file can take up large amounts of space on your PC, making it difficult to send it over to other people and can be vulnerable to viruses, especially if it is sent over large networks. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to compress a text file and a folder using Python. So first, we need to import these two packages. Uh, import zip file and import OS. As you can tell, the zip file will be used to, to compress the actual file. Uh, in OS, I will get back to you and I'll come back to this uh, package. And from the, uh, the OS package, we have to we have to get the zip file. Next, then we have to ass assign our file name to a variable. And let's write txt file name equals to. So let me quickly just bring out the folder. So as you can see, this is within multiple files. And in the compressed text file, I have one random text file, random text with a bunch of words in it, and a random folder with a bunch of have a bunch of text with just more more text in it. But this time we have multiple. So this is the folder. I'll be, so this is the folder I will be compressing. But first, let's compress this text file. So text file equals to random text dot txt. Then we have to assign a variable to the zip file and name it name it the text com dot zip. So what this does is f equals to zip file xt t e x t com dot zip. So this will be the file name that will be now be renamed to after it's been compiled, and then the w which means to write. Then f dot w i t e t x t f i n. So this compresses the file. So now f dot I'll type in f dot close to close the op the open file. And if I were to run it, finish code. And as you can see here, the text file, the text document has been compressed. I have to open it. There it is. Same, same as before, nothing different. So now, um, now I'm going to show you how to compress a folder, which is again very similar to how you compress a file. So uh, I'm gonna, I'm going to put down the close function low blow, assign a variable to the folder name. So folder equals to random folder. Uh, then we assign uh, the variable full to zip filing to zip file and the name of what the new name we want it to be. So folder com dot zip and then again to write the file. Now we create a for loop to zip the whole folder. So for root DIRS, which means your directory and files in os dot walk. So this is why we use the OS function to direct you using the OS package we can direct directly find the folder and the contents within. And then we'll create another for loop for file in files. So this basically lists all the files in the folder and we can ask it to print the file loops if you want, but however we want to compress it. So to compress these files, we are going to ask full dot write os dot path dot join root file. Then full dot close. I can just bring this back. And as you can see here, I'm going to delete the text com file. And the random text too, because since this is in both one Python file, it will compress both the text file and the folder. So let's run this file. Finish with zero, zero code. Oh, code code exit with code zero. And now let's if I were to open the file, as you can see here, the folder has been compressed and the text has been compressed. 
if I were to open the folder, there it is, and all the texts are there, and nothing has been altered, and if I open the text file, there you go. So, this is how you could use Python to compress a file and folders. Thank you.